Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my review of the Upper Park Rebel. This is a full-size tournament style disc golf backpack, holds all the discs and other gear that you need out there on the course, and it does all the really important things well. It's lightweight, it's comfortable on your back, it has plenty of storage, I like that it's symmetrical, I love the open and easy access to all the plastic, I love having this extra storage up here for my approach discs and my main putters. It's just a really solid design that does all the important things really well. And it's been no secret to you guys that have been following along on the channel here that I've really fell in love with these bags. I've tested the Rebel and the Shift for several months now. It's a coin toss between which one I like better. They both have pros and cons, but they're both fantastic bags that carry really well out there on the course. And due to the fact that I love the products and the communication with the company has been fantastic, all of the kind of uh, cooperation with them on social media has been excellent as well, sharing the posts, uh, making posts about the content that I'm putting together, and it made, made it really feel like a partnership. And all of that led me to reach out we talked about it, and I'm really excited to let you know that I am now a member of Team Upper Park. So I will be carrying these bags exclusively for the foreseeable future. The only thing that's going to change in terms of the channel is I won't be testing other bags here on the channel for the foreseeable future while I continue to be on the team and use these Upper Park bags exclusively. But one of the awesome things about this is not only can I get you guys a discount code now that you can use on all of your Upper Park purchases that will also come, uh, come back and directly help support me and the channel, but I will feel like I'm part of a team. I will have that support structure of Team Upper Park and the management at Upper Park who have been really great to work with. And it will allow me to be completely impartial while still testing all of the different plastic that's out there on the market. I've tested hundreds of golf discs, probably at least 300 golf discs, considering that I've done 270, 280 reviews or so as of the filming of this video. So I'll still be able to continue to test all the plastic from all the manufacturers with zero conflict of interest in that. The only kind of uh, thing that'll be consistent through all that is when I'm out there on the course, whatever I'm throwing, it's gonna be in an upper park bag. So you can use my code DiscGolfNerd10, get yourself 10% off anything you need at upperparkdiscgolf.com. If you have any questions or you're trying to decide between one or the other, feel free to hit me up. I'll do my best to let you guys know what I think and give you more information about these bags. But I'm really, really excited about this. And it's something I've never really felt like I was part of a team within disc golf. And uh, I'm super excited and it's all because of you. You stopping here and taking the time out of your day to hang out with me and look at some discs or bags or talk about different concepts uh, that you might not understand or whatever it is, that is the foundation. That is the core that all of it's built on. Well, it's all thanks to you for stopping by here and uh, spending your time with me and giving me your uh, your attention and your viewership. That's that's really what it, what it boils down to. So thank you very much and I'm really happy to let you guys know about this. But other than that, it's really going to be pretty much the same story around here. I'm gonna be testing a ton of plastic and I'm gonna be reporting my findings to you guys. I'll also be, of course, uh, reviewing other Upper Park products as they become available. New designs, new colors, etc. So stay tuned for all that kind of stuff. Should be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about it and uh, I appreciate you very much for helping make it happen. So, that being said, I'm gonna look at right in the camera and tell you guys this flat out, exactly what I told the owner of Upper Park Disc Golf. This relationship between me Justin, the disc golf nerd, and Upper Park Disc Golf as a member of the team will not change the way I review these products. I'm still going to be honest with you guys as I try to be in all the content that I produce. So rest assured, I will not be just like blowing smoke at you guys and saying how much I love everything that Upper Park puts out unless that's my genuine opinion. Luckily, in this particular instance, for sure, I adore this bag, so I can be perfectly honest with you guys and tell you all the things I love about it, and let's get into it. Enough rambling. Upper Park Rebel. So, first of all, let's talk about how much plastic this thing can hold and what I have in it right now. I have three Pures up here that I'm putting, so that's three. Then I have three more approach discs, a Caltrop, a Magnet, and a Harp. So that's six putters, right? Then from there we have, a, uh, we have another putter down here, so that's seven putters. And then we have eight, nine, 10, 11, including mid ranges. Then we have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 total, if I'm not mistaken, including a mix of drivers, putters, mid ranges, etc. So 
plenty of plastic. The other thing that you can do is you can just open up these and these will take discs as well. So if you want to load up extra, extra plastic in here that you can't fit in the main compartment, you can easily get stuff in here. There's a couple other things in there that are running into the running into the zipper, but you can you can easily get a few extra discs in these side pockets if you want to do that. And I will do that occasionally, you know, I'll, I'll have a disc I'm not throwing a ton. Maybe I'll put like a, my overstable utility disc over here now and again to save some, uh, some room in the main compartment. But all in all, plenty of plastic for the average player and we're seeing really high level pros carrying the Rebel and the Shift out there on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. And if it's enough storage for them in terms of discs, it's probably enough storage for you as a amateur, you know, more casual player um, that I assume you probably are, as a lot of my, my viewership tends to be. So, plenty of discs. I love that the bag is symmetrical and that everything is exactly the same on both sides. Let me swing around here and see the same deal. You know, there's nothing really crazy to see here, but you have dual water bottle holders. This one's sticking up a little bit because I have a, one of these rubber stretch bands in there. Dual water bottle holders on this thing. You have the towel clips on both sides. The only thing that's unsymmetrical is you have an umbrella uh, Velcro on this side here that I hope you guys can see. And if you open this up, you can see I have my towel attached here and then tucked into the pocket. I have a Wingman Pro in here. I have a first aid kit. I have a retriever in this pocket that I have secured here with the Velcro as well. So that's quite simple to get in there. And you can really just put it in this pocket and zip it up. Shout out to my friend, uh, Das Savick, fellow, fellow YouTuber, who I'll be leaving the bag reviewing duties uh, for other companies to uh, going forward here. But he was always harping on having the zippers zip upwards rather than the other way around. And it, and it is really important because Having this in here, I can zip it straight up to that, and it's it's captured, it's not going anywhere. You have a little tuck pocket here if you want to use that. You have a great Sharpie pocket right here. Hope you guys are seeing all this, by the way. I'm trying a little bit of a different filming angle. But yeah, you have a, a nice Sharpie pocket there. And inside this pocket, if I pull out some of this uh, extra gear, you can hopefully see there's a little slide pocket here where I have some stuff. And then there's also an interior mesh pocket down here that I like to uh, put my keys and stuff to secure valuables in there. So lots of storage on both sides. And once again, you can easily put some discs in here if you wanted to throw a couple extra drivers in there. There's no problem with that whatsoever. But the main compartment is, is plenty big to carry everything that I need. So once again, I throw my wingman back in here. Oh, fumble, losing stuff. But hey, that's how, that's how we roll. It's always a mess here on the channel. You guys know that. So. A couple other things to show you. Once you get the putters out, I can show you this upper area here. And these are really lightweight and soft, but once you get a disc in there, the disc kind of holds that pocket into shape really well, and then the others will just pop right in. And I just love how simple that is. So you'll find me out on the course with all kinds of discs stuffed in here and stuff between between holes or whatever because i don't care enough to to deal with it but it does make it really easy to organize so right here i have a throwing pure my two butters go up top here then i have my forehand approach disc backhand approach disc and understable approach disc my uh my old magnet that i have to have in the bag pretty much requirements so you have all that. In here, there's also a sleeve here. You're probably not gonna be able to see. There's a hole here that I could actually put a retriever down there or an umbrella if I wanted to, but I, uh, I have no use for that personally. If I tilt this down, you can see the mini pocket right here, hopefully. And uh, this I use a ton for a handkerchief. I keep these green, army green handkerchiefs in all of my golf bags and stuff and I love it for right here, it's perfect. I also really like this because when I have the bag sitting on a bench or on my folding stool, I can actually put my phone right in here and film myself throwing shots that way. So it's like a little, that little pocket works perfect. My phone will actually just pop right in here and I can almost use the bag like a tripod to film, you know, sh stuff for Instagram or whatever, shots for Instagram. You have some little tuck pockets in here that I haven't really found much of a use for, but it'd be really great for like a little clipboard. Scorecard could tuck in here. Um, you know, an easy access snack or something that you want to have in there for sure would be totally fine. I keep my minis down in here. You know, I keep a reusable scorecard in here as well, but you could see, you know, you could throw a reusable scorecard there. You could throw your minis in here if you wanted to, 
whatever you want. Those are those are nice to have, but I'm not I'm not using I'm not using them because I have so much extra storage everywhere else that I, I just really don't see the need to. So load those up. Towels in here. I got an extra flight towel down here. And once again, on the side of the bag, you have these D-rings here that you can hang whatever accessories you need to hang off of here, and it works great for that. Um, one of the few downsides of this bag, from my perspective, is is the where the water bottle holders are. Sometimes, as I put it on, my elbow might interact with this bottle. Now, a couple things you can do to, to greatly mitigate that is one is use these um, regular plastic lightweight Nalgene bottles. These are the ultra light, like backpacking style ones. They weigh almost nothing, which I which I also do really like. They don't add any extra weight other than the the water that's in them or the the fluid that's in them. That helps though, because you see how how low those sit in there. So as you get your your arm through here to throw it over your shoulder, you can actually see this strap is a little bit tilted out because I carry this bag so often with just one strap. And uh, yeah, that helps a lot. But if you put like a 40 ounce bottle that's taller in here, you're gonna have some interference. That's probably the biggest downside I could honestly find for this bag to tell you guys about. Um, and it's really not a deal breaker, but you will kind of sometimes bang your elbow on a taller bottle. Probably I would just recommend getting these regular 32 ounce um, uh, ultralight Nalgene's or the regular Lexan ones will work great as well. Anything shorter is totally fine. Or you can just put put a, a bigger bottle on this side on your offhand, and then you're less likely to, to kind of run into it that way if you don't have both of them on there. But that's about the only like big downside, or it's not even a big downside, it's, ba it's barely noticeable with these bottles. Um, but that is something that I noticed during during testing for sure. One other thing is I would love to see these as, as a big guy, I would love to see these um, actual attachment straps down here like three inches longer just like a little bit more give so i can get my arm in there and then have a little bit more of a tag end to to cinch it down for like longer walks on the course sometimes i like to get it on there you know you pull the the straps down and kind of cinch it up on your on your shoulders nice and high if you got like a long walk down a, down a long fairway or in between holes or heading back to the car after the round etc i would love to see these be a little bit longer but even for me i don't have them maxed out you know i have a little bit of a tag end there so it's really not that big of a deal. You know, I'm a big guy. I have really broad shoulders, even just aside from being heavy. It's not so much of a problem. Onto the back of the bag, the straps are pretty much everything they need to be. They're not overly padded. They're not overly thick and fluffy. You know, they come with a sternum straps so that you can take off, which I did immediately because I don't really need those. But if you want them, you can you can use those to clip across, across your sternum if you want to have the bag really ride high and stay there. The straps are sewed under this really heavy duty bar of nylon here, and it's really uh, strongly attached, so there's no issues there whatsoever. And you can see the padding contours here on the back with a little bit of a channel here to help you, your back breathe. Um, I will also say this bag rides pretty good on the Zuka Easy Cart as well. I've been, I've been using that, maybe I'll put a quick picture of that um, tacked into the video so you can see, but it does work, and I'm able to use these uh, these clips here to attach it to my cart quite well and there's a couple other ways that you, you can go about doing that and then also has a really nice padded um, dedicated grab handle on the top here which I use all the time it's very common for me to sometimes even just carry my bag from the previous hole to the next tee just by holding it by that you know I, I use that all the time and I really like that it's separate I don't like it as well when it's integral to the straps I think this is a better system overall this particular model of the bag has a, a metal bar that runs down through here for structure, so you can kind of feel it right in the dead center here. Um, but I'm not exactly sure if that's something that's continuing on into the newer uh, the newer runs of the bags or not, but that is the case for this particular bag. I will also say that I had these bags slightly before they hit the market because they were um, production samples like right before the full run was ordered and that's how I was able to check them out a little bit earlier than everybody and help spread the word um, with Team Upper Park so uh, so that's why there might be a couple of slight changes between this bag and your actual bag if you have any questions about that let me know and if I can't answer them I can reach out to the owner directly and he'll be able to fill me in on all that stuff so the front of the bag is right here and to be honest I basically never never use it, but you can 
zip this whole thing closed if you want it to for whatever reason would definitely be nice if you were actually traveling somewhere you can zip these this whole setup closed and uh, then if you go into here there's actually a really soft kind of maybe not like felt but like a like a velvety type feel like a synthetic velvet in here so if you put your your phone or anything it won't get scratched up in there if you wanted to for for like traveling and stuff and then if it maybe if you if it got a little rainy you could open this up and kind of keep it partially covered over if it wasn't raining a lot like a little drizzle and you can still access all your stuff really easy this bag does have a rain fly available but i i basically never really use it um so i can't really report much about that i will uh, i will definitely let you guys know um in the future if i if i ever get a chance to fully test the rain fly out there during the wet weather so just a real quick tuck i'm not going to try to get it to look as perfect not my favorite part of the bag to be honest that you you tuck that down into this here but ultimately it's really just an aesthetics thing um and it doesn't it doesn't bother me at all in terms of use and in fact you can honestly put extra stuff down here if you wanted to like if you wanted to put a put like a stretch band or an extra towel or something tucked in here it'd be pretty doable for sure i think that's about all i got for you guys on this bag onto the bottom you can see it's got like a little bit of a plasticky kind of rubberized material and you have these round relatively low profile feet on the bottom here as well which i like quite a bit no issues with the the stability of this bag tipping over from, from my perspective it is a little bit more likely to dump everything out if you do knock it over just because of how open the bag is but that's honestly one of my favorite things about this bag is that all the plastic is right here and there's nothing in the way like a lot of bags will have the main compartment will have a top to it that goes across here you know obviously a lot of them they're attached all the way up here and then there's a hole here and then you you know you're trying to pull it out and you're bumping into the to the opening the mouth of the of the actual um, main compartment this bag is wide open so it's so nice to be able to get your discs in and out with no issue and the same with the putters the putters are just right here couldn't be easier to grab them out and uh, they just drop right back into place so that's the best thing about this bag from my perspective is that it does the important things right the zippers are YKK, they're high quality, they're very smooth. That's huge in my perspective. I, I really hate when the zippers are kind of scratchy or get caught. Um, you can see I struggled a little bit with this part of the zipper just bumping into this little part here. That's not the zipper's fault, that's just by, by virtue of having this, this little ribbed portion to keep a little bit of a structure here. And then you also have a little bit of like plastic paneling on the inside here that gives it a little bit more structure. Now you can also maybe see that if I take some of these out, the bag will kind of pinch in a little bit like that, which really isn't a big deal. Um, it's kind of a nice thing actually, because as you load it up, it opens back up some more and you can stuff plastic into here and get it nice and opened up. So it has some give there. And then if you take some out, it'll kind of like maybe slightly pull in on itself and uh, then they won't rattle around quite as much. So it's, it's really no, no downside there. It's just kind of, yeah, not really a, a positive or a negative in my, from my perspective, but definitely could, could stuff a few extra discs in this main compartment than I even have here. So let's see if I can get another putter in there. That's fine. Then I can put another putter up here. And again, we could put probably two or three discs on either side if you really wanted to carry a ton of, you know, Chris Dickerson level plastic, <laughs> you can uh, you can make that happen. So that's pretty much all I got for you on this bag. If you guys want a closer look at it, not from this perspective, but from just camera straight in, look at the end of the video here. I'm gonna put my overview of the Rebel and the Shift. You'll also see them side by side. And I will put my full review of the Shift bag if you want to get a closer look at my experiences with that bag, if you're trying to make the decision between the two. Um, let's talk about that for just two seconds. If you're not sure which one to get, I would say what's what's most important to you? Is having a, a lot of storage and room for plastic the most important? Or is it more having a compact, super carryable, lightweight bag? They're both light, but the shift takes it to another level where it's really high on your back, it's really compact, all the weight is centralized into one little package, and it's really, really great for those kind of like hilly courses up and down. Um, all that kind of stuff is really is really great. This bag 
is definitely more the full size bag when you want to have these big side pockets where you could really stuff a jacket or extra stuff in here that you want. Um, and also the main compartment holds a, holds a boatload of plastic in comparison. So the shift is, is a little bit more of a uh, compact bag than this. And if you could only, if I could only have one, I'd probably go with the Rebel just because it gives me that extra ability. You know, I can, I can have two waters, two waters on me, which is great. I can have, you know, all these putters plus a full compartment of mids and drivers. So if I could only use one or the other, it would probably be the Rebel just because it can do things that the shift can't do. But I also really like carrying the shift and especially for shorter courses, casual rounds. It holds plenty of plastic and I, I really like to carry that one too. So I think that's all I got for you. Let me know if you have any questions about any of this stuff in the comments down below. Thank you once again for your continued support of the channel. You guys make such a huge difference. And really, again, it all starts with you. You stopping by, clicking on the video, spending your time with me, hanging out, talking about disc golf, like that's what makes it all possible. Um, from the sponsorships for, to get plastic, to do more reviews, the working with Team Upper Park, et cetera, et cetera. It all starts with you and your support. So thank you very much. I really appreciate you all. Thank you very much to my Patreon supporters as well. You guys have been invaluable to me over the last few years, especially through the pandemic and all the things that have gone on. Having that little bit of financial support from the Patreon ha uh, has just been really, really excellent. So if you like what I do and you want to support the channel, that would be a great way to do it. Or head over to Upper Park Disc Golf, get yourself arguably one of the best bags on the market for a great deal, and you'll even knock some money off with my code, DiscGolfNerd10 at UpperParkDiscGolf.com. So thanks to Upper Park, thanks to you, and I will talk to you all very soon. Cheers.